Good morning guys, it's actually Tuesday the 3rd of May today. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new here, my name is Danny. I make weekly vlogs all about being a full-time content creator, skincare, and just being a baby girl in general. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I am getting better at the intro. I have been so unwell. My hay fever last week, last week's vlog was just a write-off because your girl was just grinding and feeling unwell. However, I did finally book to have the hay fever injection last week, which I had done. And now I'm on the way to Pilates, which you're probably used to seeing this background behind me because it means she's going to Pilates. So yes, we'll have a proper catch up when I get out of Pilates. My mom has been here with me all weekend. It's been so much fun having her here, but I have so much work to do today. So let's go and get our sweat on. I will try and film some of the class for you guys today. This week is gonna be a busy one. I'm leaving my flat next Monday. So I have to kind of like start preparing, detoxing my wardrobe and things like that, which I've actually been saying I was going to do for ages and I just haven't got around to doing it yet. So this week I actually have to do it because they're going to pack my shit up next week. But yes, it's a big one, but we'll get through it together. So I'm just heading home now. Yes, the big catch up that we're overdue. Last week, end of last week, I was extremely sick with my hay fever, like really struggled to work. So I bit the bullet, spoke to my doctor and booked privately to have the injection done. Had the injection yesterday. So far I don't feel very different, but it says about 48 hours. So I think, you know, we'll see, we'll give it a chance. Still have this like pretty bad and sore breakout on the side of my face. I'm putting this down to both stress because <laughs> I'm moving house. And also the change in my hair, because I've been wearing my hair on my face, which I don't normally do. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work for me. But yes, I'm just heading home now. Workout was great. I've got some salads for me and my mother to enjoy before she heads off on the train. However, I will be seeing her next week because when I leave my flat next week, I have to put my stuff in storage for a few days while we wait for the keys for the new place. So I'm going to head home to Liverpool for a couple of days, which I'm actually looking forward to just for a little change of scenery. So yes, that is the big catch up. I'm heading home now. I need to finish some work for some clients, some huge collaborations which are coming up over the next couple of weeks, which I'm just so honoured and excited about the rest of this week should be more interesting I always say this but the start of the week is always pretty boring tomorrow I have a meeting with the potential management and then I'm going to try and get a facial booked after that um, and then on Wednesday Thursday sorry I have an event with a van so yeah there's a few little fun things going on so make sure you come along with me for the rest of the week let's do some PR quickly so oh I keep forgetting to bring scissors when I do this I can't open half these things without scissors I just did a quick check of my post box because it's been a bank holiday weekend and I'm not sure what came. Hold on. Hold please. I'm not sure if people had sent me anything over the bank holiday weekend. So I thought I would be nice to my lovely PO box guy and go and check my posts. So first up, this is a body wash with salicylic acid in. As you guys know, I'm very passionate about this from a brand called SBC. Thank you so much for sending this. This is a brand that I've actually never heard of before, but you guys know how passionate I am about salicylic acid in body products. So of course, when they messaged me, I was like, yes, please send it. Next we have... <coughs> oh, some goodies from Fenty Skin. Fenty Skin Minis. I actually had this kit before and I really like it says, hey boo, we're taking your skincare back to basics with the OG Fenty Skin Starter Kit. Travel size minis is actually great because I'm going to be doing a bit of traveling over the next week moving house. Thank you so much, Fenty Skin. The next two are, oh, they're both from Just My Look. How sweet. I don't know what they've sent here. We shall see. Let's see. Oh God, let me not. Okay, let me not cut myself. Oh my gosh, guys, I need like a bougie box cutter or something because the risk involved in this job with opening these parcels, I mean, oh, I've just torn the box. Okay. Okay. So we have, hi lovely, we've run out of the Hydra face fluid. No, we've popped the body one in though. It's a as popular as the other ones. Oh my gosh. 
just my luck. You guys are just the best. You literally treat me so well. They've sent me the new Bondi Sands Hydra SPF 50. Very excited to try this. Along with Sunbum SPF 50, Ultra Sun SPF 50, Altruist SPF 50. This is a massive SPF haul from their website. And then, I'm not sure what else they've sent me here. They are spoiling me. Two boxes. Okay. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, dear Lord. Again, ripping the box. Don't do this at home. It's not cute, is it? Okay. Final box. Oh, okay. Tanning products. Thank you so much. We've got from a brand called, is it called Intensity? Um, what's this brand called? Rose and Caramel, it's called. Bold and Bronze Self Tanning Foam. <coughs> this is from a brand called, oh yeah, Rose and Caramel as well. This there, Brown Tanning Stick. And also, ah, oh, a tan off product as well. Wow, thank you so much, guys. This is like a very cute amount of PR, which is very, very manageable. Um, I'm very excited to give these a shot, especially these SPFs, because you guys know she lives for an SPF. Hi, guys, and welcome to Thursday the 5th of May. So as you can see, I'm at the Gherkin. So I'm here at the Gherkin with Event Skincare this lunchtime actually um, to launch their new SPF, which I'm very, very excited about. It's so funny actually, I've just realized I don't know what the nature of this event is and I'm wearing like a blazer and like cycling shorts. I really, really hope it's not like a yoga event or something like that because these brands love a little yoga event. But yes, it's an absolute gorgeous day at last because the weather, my dear, it has been trash for the past two days. Two, three days it's been trash. <laughs> Quick update for you, since my hay fever injection, I'm sleeping better, I'm breathing better. I even went outside today to walk Rocky just after they cut the grass and nothing, I feel fine, which is pretty life-changing for me. So I'm very, very happy about that. I'm gonna head on in now and see what the crack is. I'm very, 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 very excited to see what's going on. Danny here so I went to a hotel for a massage after and it was so so good good morning guys it is 6 22 a.m on Monday the 9th of March I'm leaving my flat today so um oh my gosh just I'm so tired number one but I have the removal guys coming between 8 and 9 a.m so I just wanna have everything as easy as possible for them to pack. The past couple of days, I've just been throwing things out, donating things, you know, just getting everything ready because I'm having the removal company pack my stuff for me, but I realize I don't want them to pack everything. Like the last thing I wanted was to get to my new flat and have everything that I've got here. Like I was like, no, I need to detox. So I've been detoxing the flat quite heavily the past couple of days so i feel like we're in a good place on the detox wise i've got a few other bags here that i need to take downstairs to the bin i was kind of hoping that the bin would get emptied overnight but it didn't um so hopefully there's enough space in the bins downstairs for me to put my stuff in but yes so this week is going to be all over the place to be honest because ooh, we were basically whoops, expecting to get the key to our new flat this weekend just gone we didn't Long story short, we didn't. And so because of that reason, and my landlord is having builders come in here, so I couldn't ask her if I could stay a bit longer. I didn't wanna mess her about. So I'm moving out and I'm putting all my stuff in storage. Hopefully it'll only be there for a week. Fingers crossed, watch this space. Um, and for the rest of this week, so tonight, myself and Rocky and my boyfriend are gonna stay at the Ned, have a little fancy night, staycation in London. 
and then on Tuesday I'm going to come back here give my landlord back the keys after the flat's been cleaned and me and Rocky are going to go to Cambridge so we're going to be having a bit of an everything week which is going to be interesting because I've only ever been to Cambridge once um I'm actually really excited to go and explore I've got some work to do while I'm there as well so it's not just all play but it will be a little bit of exploring and then friday we're going to come back to london for the weekend have an event with l'oreal on friday night so you guys can come with me to that but yes there's a lot that needs to be done it's 6 a.m like i said they're coming between eight and nine so i just want to like whiz around get everything ready for them to pack away easily and get out of here <laughs> Make Very sure important. no intruders come in. Okay. Yeah, Is that in okay? Still be sure. Okay, guys. So this is my flat right now. The bed frame is staying as is the wardrobe. I need to dispose of my quilt and pop this um, bedside table out for someone to take. My street's great. You put anything out, people will take it. So yeah, this was my bedroom. I love this room, most beautiful natural light. So I had the bed here with my artwork on the wall and then I had my mirror and stuff. Let's go into the living room. So this was my living room. The sofa is the landlord's that's staying. I'm gonna get rid of this rug um, this evening and also put the desk outside for someone to take. I am gonna miss this street and this area so, so, so much. It's honestly been such a pleasure living here. I love it so much. We love it, don't we, Rocky? We love it so much. But we're ready for the next chapter, aren't we? Are you ready for the next chapter? Yes? Hi, vlog. So, me and Rocky, God, what a day. What a day. So all of my stuff is now in storage, which I think you've seen footage of. I have moved out of my flat, but it's not been cleaned yet. So I'm gonna go back there tomorrow, let the cleaner in, throw the last bits of rubbish away, and then I'll be out of the flat completely. But this evening, because obviously my mattress is in storage now, there's no bed in my flat, me and Rocky are staying at the Ned. And it's this beautiful, beautiful hotel, restaurant, members club, part of Soho House Group in Bank. I've never stayed at the hotel. I do come here quite often to go to the restaurants, but I've never stayed here. So I thought I would, you know, jump at the opportunity to stay here for one night because i do have to be in london tomorrow to check out of my flat let me show you the room it's a little bit lived in now because i've been here for a while where's my dog let's say hi firstly hey buddy hi how sweet of them to provide a bed i did actually buy a travel crate on amazon but it looks like we don't need it because they've given you a bed haven't they been very well behaved since we got here let me show you guys the room. So you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous wardrobe as soon as you walk in, bedside table, dog not included. Gorgeous bed, gorgeous bed. This is the cheapest room, but this bed is absolutely frigging huge. You have got this nice desk area, which obviously I've taken over with my stuff now. And then come through with me, the pièce de résistance, Rocky. Look how beautiful this bathroom is. Gorgeous, gorgeous sink. Obviously, all my products are out. I'm going to film some content and this lovely, lovely shower area. It's just absolutely stunning. I love the floor in detail. Rocky. I've been up since 5 a.m. and it's now, I think, nearly five o'clock. Yeah, nearly half past five. So I'm going to jump in the shower. Um, I do have some content that I'd like to film today. So I'm going to try and film some content um, and then check in on emails and probably take Rocky for one last walk in the area before we kind of settle down for the evening. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. My boyfriend's coming to stay with us as well when he finishes work, so we can enjoy these beautiful facilities all together. I'm just trying to, oh God, look at this. Look, this little tea station. Oh my God, everything is just so beautiful. Oh my God, stop it. So yes, I'm just trying to see if there's a dressing gown because I need one to fill my content, but I'm just so happy and so excited to be here. Even though we haven't got the keys to our new flat yet, I just feel like things are finally moving in the right direction by me being out of my flat, so. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday the 10th of May. I am still at the Ned. <laughs> it's about 9.30, I think. I've had the most wonderful breakfast. I'll insert some footage here. Me and Rocky are just chilling out. I'm actually just like packing up my bag now, actually. 
and then I'm probably gonna go back to bed for a bit and just like watch this movie that I haven't really been watching properly. Do some emails. But yes, I have to check out of here at 12 o'clock and then I'm gonna head straight to my flat, let the cleaner in and do all the final bits. Honestly, I just wanna get that part of the day out of the way and just be on the train, on the way to Cambridge, ready for me and Rocky to enjoy the rest of our staycation week. The net has been absolutely so beautiful. I'm already thinking, okay, when can I stay again? It's so, so lovely. They've really taken care of Rocky as well, really nicely. My only criticism is my room is next to the door which separates the corridor of bedrooms to the corridor for the, for the lifts, which is fine, but obviously with a dog, small dogs are like guard dogs. As soon as he hears that door creak, he's like ruff, ruff. So in future, I would definitely request a, re request a room away from the corridor door. Um, which I'm going to email actually where we're staying in Cambridge and do exactly the same thing because he is a high alert kind of dog. Oh, I don't think this camera quite, actually you can see my sweaty forehead. I'm absolutely exhausted. So I'm back at the flat, as you can tell from the echoiness. Hi Rocky. And just had to get rid of the last couple of bags of rubbish. So like my quilt was here. I'm not taking that. The rugs were still down. I had to get rid of those. So the flat is ready for the cleaner to come now. So I'm just waiting for the cleaner, but I did have like a scrapey thing to take the hooks out of the wall, but it looks like the guys who did the removal, like they did such a good job. They took absolutely everything, including the scrapey thing, which I really need. So when the cleaner gets here, me and Rocky are going to pop to B&Q, get a new scrapey thing and remove these pins from the wall as smoothly as possible. But yes, it's been pretty successful so far. I mean, the cleaner should be here any minute now so hopefully they come on time um i just want to like sort this out and honestly give my key back and go to cambridge now i'm over it but yeah last things to do is of course take the meter readings very important on the first day that you move in and last day you move out make sure you take the meter reading so you can make the final bill payment for water gas electricity so that's it i, need, I think i need to unplug my wi-fi box i'm not really sure i might leave it here for the new tenants um Virgin already know that I'm leaving anyway, so I'll just turn it off, I guess, but I'll leave it in case they do want to go with Virgin anyway. But yes, oh my gosh, I'm so hot and sweaty. Editing Danny here. So actually this day turned into a hot mess. The cleaner was an hour and a half late, um, which really pushed back my whole day, which was obviously a massive pain in the ass. I did let Virgin Media know that I was leaving to cancel my contract. They didn't tell me that I had to take the Wi-Fi box with me and post it back to them. They actually told me as well when I called them on the phone that they didn't even receive my notice. So I had to pay a fee for giving a late cancellation and also a fee for the box. It was a hot mess, it was a hot mess. And I ended up getting a taxi to Cambridge because I was so exhausted after moving everything, but we got there in the end. Okay guys, so here's the empty flat tour. I replaced the sofa covers for my landlord so it's fresh and clean and new. Just left a little air freshener. Okay guys, so here's the empty flat tour. So I lived in a one bedroom, one bathroom flat in Arsenal, which is close to Highbury and Islington. It's zone two. I know that everyone cares about the money. So I was paying 1400 no, 1300 a month for my rent, excluding my bills. But when I moved out, the landlord actually hiked the rent up by like £200 more a month. Um, so yeah, but I absolutely love this area. I will always go back. Restaurants and coffee shops are amazing there. Lovely people. I loved okay, it. Okay, before I mess this place up, let me give you a room tour. So you've got bedroom, which is kind of separated. This is like a, what's it called, door that slides across. Gorgeous hallway. I love this. It's so nice. Nice mirror. And then the living room area, which has a kitchen as well. And then just the view of this little area in Cambridge which is really cute actually right I'm gonna take Rocky outside to the bathroom because he's been so good all the way but he must be desperate right now good morning guys it is Wednesday the 11th of May it's my first full day in Cambridge I've just clipped my hair up because I'm gonna go and wash it I'm gonna try and film like a hair washing tutorial what I do kind of not really a tutorial just what I do to wash my hair um, because I've promised it for ages and I just haven't got around to filming it. Sorry, the TV's on in the background. I don't know what the remote is. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and film that quickly this morning. And also I have two collaborations to film <coughs> today as well for brand work. So I need to actually get a shuffle on. 
I wore Tret last night. So I've just got like the dark marks are killer right now. Um, this was like a weird underskin spot that just turned into a dark mark. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get back on my Tret groove. Um, <clears throat> but also just taking care of my skin barrier as well. So yeah, first night in the hotel here in Cambridge. I slept so, so well. The bed is extremely comfortable. And also the room is not close to a lot of other people, I don't think. Um, so Rocky slept well as well. He wasn't hearing doors banging all night, that kind of thing. The weather is really crap today. <laughs> so I think I'm really just gonna focus on getting work done. And then at least hopefully tomorrow I can just like enjoy being here. Friday, I'm gonna head back to London. I'm not sure what time actually. I need to double check with the girls from L'Oreal what time they're sending a taxi for me because we're going to see Little Mix. So I'm really, really excited for that. Um, but I actually, I think I mentioned I was planning on staying in Manchester next week because I don't think we'll have a key to the new flat this week at all. Um, but I actually think I might come back here. I really, really like this hotel. Um, so I'm gonna speak to their team downstairs and see if they've got room for two little ones next week to come back i really really like this room the space is absolutely gorgeous i'm just watching lorraine um i'm just chilling so yeah i think i'll probably try and come back here next week but for now let's go and film some content guys she's got clean hair oh my gosh i feel like i haven't had clean hair for way longer than i'd like to admit you guys know i love washing my hair so the fact that i couldn't very easily because of moving house and having to pack everything was not fun but Rocky, this apartment's great, but there's floor to ceiling windows and the dog, oh my God, I need to straighten my hair more. Yeah, he just keeps barking at the, at the window, don't you buddy? And I've got a call in six minutes. So I've just closed the blinds and had to use my little light so they can actually see me on the call. But yes, it's been a nice morning so far. I actually, it's like one o'clock and I still haven't done a food shop. I literally made my basket on Deliveroo, haven't ordered it yet. I literally just washed my hair. Haven't dried my roots yet. I just was like, right, I need to just like get onto calls and do some work. So let me just give it a rough blow dry and a rough straighten. And then after that, I'll pop my little hood on and dry my roots properly. Guys, the call went really well. Very, very, very excited. Hopefully a new collaboration partner out of that. I'm gonna open the curtains again now because I'm gonna eat some food. I was very prepared. Oh God, hopefully you can see me. I was prepared enough to remember to bring the noodles I bought from TikTok shop a couple of weeks ago. I got a packet of these for 99 pence. So I bought them with me because I knew I'd have to do a food shop and I just haven't got around to doing it yet. So at least I've got these to eat for now. And they are actually really, really good. I love them. I love them a lot. So I'm gonna have these, watch some TV for a bit and then crack on because I've actually got quite a lot of work to do. Um, but what's this? It's fine. It's all doable to do today. Actually, I'm going to watch Cassie on YouTube. Hopefully there's YouTube on this TV. Also, hopefully I can work out how to get it to work. I don't know. Good morning, my dears. How are you all doing? It's Thursday, the 12th, maybe something like that. Um, oh my God, why is my hair so knotty? Um, why is my hair so knotty? It's Thursday, which means it's my last full day this week in Cambridge. Um, I actually have a lot of work to do today. So I'm like, up. Ah, it's eight o'clock. Well, I've actually been up since like six, but it is eight o'clock. I'm gonna make some breakfast and have a shower. Editing Danny here. So we stayed at the Lock Hotel. I'll pop all the info on screen. The Lock Hotel Cambridge. My favorite thing was all of this beautiful outdoor space. So easy to get into the center of Cambridge. Here we are in the town center, exploring, watching the people punting. Honestly, if you're looking for a staycation and you're based in London or even in the Midlands, Cambridge is absolutely gorgeous. I completely fell in love with the place. I'm definitely gonna go back and stay just for like a little mini staycation and get some work done. Anyway, then we went to London for the weekend.
Hey, okay, we're checking back in. We've got suitcase, travel, hall door. This is Rocky's bed and some more luggage. There's a lot. We're on the second floor this week, so let's see what the room has. After another amazing week in Cambridge, look at these bunnies across the street from the hotel. We got the key to the flat! As you can see, Rocky was super, super excited, nearly as excited as me. Welcome to the next chapter, guys!